The submission that sets you free. Horses. If you have seen my social media recently, you know that I have re-entered into the world of horses. Let's reflect about their situation. You have horses in the wild. Many would refer to them as free. Free from what though? Then you have horses in riding schools, farm, law enforcement, and so on. Assuming that the humans are not transgressing and overburdening them, reflect on the lives of these two types, one in the wild and one in an institution. What are the concerns, worries, and daily goals for the ones in the wild? What is the greater purpose the ones in riding schools, farm, and law enforcement are serving? The ones in the institution are free from chasing the basic physical needs like food, healthcare, and, most, and in most cases even mating. The point I'm trying to make that submission can be liberating. Submission to Allah is what sets us free from a lot of mental and emotional stress. It fulfills our emotional needs of love, hope, trusting and relying on someone stronger in all aspects. And most importantly, it sets our souls free in this life and in the hereafter for eternity. There is no one like Allah and for him is the highest example. But for an analogy, reflect how the horses who submit to human boundaries sets themselves free from many things and are able to achieve a much greater purpose. What would happen to a horse that is not behaving properly? Reins may be pulled and he will be directed towards behavior that is beneficial for the bigger picture. The Sharia of Allah, the rules of Allah, the guidance of Allah, Islam, has a massive, complete, and perfect wisdom behind it. It's not a set of random rules. It is there to liberate us from the lowly desires and dependencies towards the vastness of the love from the Creator. Islam is a submission that sets you free and will let you achieve massive breakthroughs in all areas of your life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts an example in his book. In the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, Allah put forth a similitude, an example, an analogy of a slave man belonging to many partners like those who worship others along with Allah, disputing with one another, and a slave man belonging entirely to one master, like those who worship Allah alone, are those two equal in comparison. All the praises and thanks be to Allah, but most of them know not. Another verse in the end of Surah, Surah Al Hajj, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَأَقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَآتُوا الزَّكَاةَ وَاعْتَصِمُوا بِاللَّهِ هُوَ مَوْلَاكُمْ فَنِعْمَ الْمَوْلَى وَنِعْمَ النَّصِيرِ So establish prayer and give zakah and hold fast to Allah. He is your protector. He is your protector. And excellent is the protector. And excellent is the helper. So submit to Allah and set yourself free.